What is good, my journeys? What is good, my journeys? Listen, if you've been having dreams about someone you've never met, it's because you're about to receive love. You're about to meet someone special. And I just ask you to be open, to truly know that you deserve to be loved. Because I go through seasons where I feel like I can't be loved or somebody would not understand my spirit the way I need them to. So I kind of fall back from love and I know many of you guys, you feel that man. But I ask you today to know that you deserve love. You deserve to be catered to, understood, nurtured. Even if you've had a rough past, bro, you deserve to be forgiven. You even deserve to just wake up and have someone next to you telling you, I love you, I got you, and helping you along your journey. But I remember having dreams um, about this person. And um, the energy will always be the same, but maybe the face might change or the way I meet them in the dream might change. But I would always have a dream about this person. And in a dream, um, they would like understand my spirit on a deep level that I need. And we would actually have like businesses together. We would actually have like kids and um, have a whole life. So in a dream, it'll feel so vivid, so real. Um, they will understand my pain. And then I will wake up and I'll literally be longing for this person. Like I miss them and I would want to go back to sleep just to go talk to them and be in that space so I don't know if you guys been having these dreams or when you go out you might smell different scents and it reminds you of a person you've never met or you might have a conversation with someone and you this might be the person that you know you've been dreaming about or you've been craving and when you guys talk it's like bro I want to talk to that person again I want to text this person again y'all probably jumped on the phone and y'all talk for hours and hours and hours, but you had to end the call because you had to work the next day or, you know, something came up. But you think about this person a lot. And it's kind of like the universe showing you that there's still good people out here, you know. But don't give up on love, y'all. Um, I remember shooting a video about soulmates. And like that video came from such a real place because many of us are about to receive our soulmates, we're about to receive our lovers. And I just ask you to be open, man. I don't wanna see nobody saying that they can't receive love or they're not worthy of love because I've learned that words is spells. If you keep telling yourself that you can't receive love or you don't deserve it, it won't come to you. The sad truth is that we have to be mindful, bro. So you have to go look within yourself and say, okay, why don't I feel lovable? Why don't I feel like I deserve it? What happened to you when you was a child? Who hurt you? And after you see that, start to do a little inner work, man. Because I don't want you to ruin this connection when this person comes because you're still playing that old program thinking that they're gonna hurt you or use you. Some people are here to nurture you, bro, and be there for you, for your highest good, man. Now, yes, you will have people out here to belittle you and you've been hurt, man, I, I hear your story, but today we, we not finna nurture that. I want to nurture you knowing that you deserve love, bro, and your lover is coming. Now, when I say I'm not gonna nurture that, meaning I care about your past, I care about what you've been through, but I just ask you to know that you can break free from that story because that's what I had to do. And um, I remember just experiencing this person in the physical, like a person that just understood my spirit. Like I was able to share my thoughts and my emotions and I have a lot of love for this person, bro. So I've experienced this type of love, man. But even though I'm single, sometimes you would meet people for a season and they would teach you and heal you. And I feel like that's kind of like what that person was for me in my life because it's kind of rare to come across people that are genuine and spiritual and aware and deep. But sometimes you have to say, OK, even though this person understands me, even though they're spiritual, we probably are not meant to be together at that time, but maybe later in life. OK, so sometimes you do meet good people when they leave. So you feel like no one can. I'm not going to say replace them, but reciprocate that energy. But they can. OK, so I need to share that as well, because a lot of you guys have experienced these good people, 
but something happened when you guys couldn't date, you couldn't commit, maybe it was long distance or, you know, something happened. But you deserve love. And when this person comes, they're gonna change everything about you, man. And you just have to accept. You guys will go out on dates. You guys will be there for each other, man. And it's gonna be magical. And I'm, look, I'm, I'm just smiling because love is such a powerful thing. And I feel like right now we're all are searching for that comfort. We're all are searching for our other half because I want to say maybe a couple of years ago, it was all about isolating ourselves and healing and, you know, doing what we need to do. But now I feel like it's all about coming together, whether this is romantically or just being friends or just having someone in your life. I feel like we all are seeking that right now in this time. So don't feel bad if you crave love because this person that's coming into your life will understand your spirit. They will understand your soul. And if they don't understand your spirit or your soul, that's not the one. OK, that's not the one. I don't believe in having to coach someone 24 seven or every day on how to treat you. They're just not for you. That's just the truth. Um, I remember um, not making a quote, but just saying it to myself. I was like, I'm no longer in a season where I'm teaching people, meaning I'm no longer in a season of teaching people how to love me. I just want you to already know how to love me. Now, I will tell you about my past and my trauma. But I'm not going to tell you, hey, I need you to do this for me because you ain't got to tell me nothing about you because I got you. I'm studying you. And what I'm saying is you must find someone that's going to understand you and study you and aid you without even have to explain, bro, because they're in tune. with, They're in tune. I was about to say they're in tune with what, which I didn't know what I was about to say, but they're in tune with your spirit, bro. Prime example, I was talking about this person I met. And how wonderful they was, this person understood my soul. I didn't have to explain much. I was just able to just share what I felt and they just got it. They just understood it versus somebody else. You know, you explain something to them, but you got to explain this and explain that and explain this to get them to understand this. But the person that's coming into your life will just fully understand you. They will understand your pain. They will nurture your insecurities. They will make you feel safe. And that's what a lot of people are missing in these relationships. Yes, a person can look good. They probably got a good status. But do they make you feel good? Do they make you feel safe? I crave love, bro. Y'all know this by now. And a person can look good. I mean, they can look good. But if I feel unsafe, I'm not really going to invest because today y'all see me smiling. But last week I was just down. Last week was rough. I felt like I was not going to make it through. I was hurting. So I feel like my partner must understand that I'm going to go like this a lot because I'm always learning and healing and growing and evolving at a fast rate. So your partner must understand that you are spiritual. Let me say that. They must understand that you are emotional, that you literally have these dreams and they must create a space and even hold space for you, okay? So that's why I'm saying you must feel safe in these relationships, man. But love is coming. And everything I'm telling you is just me preparing you to kind of get you in the mood of looking for that person out here because they're already coming. But the universe will uh, present you a lot of people and it's all about you kind of um, accepting it because you will be presented a lot of people. So don't think that whenever you are feeling this energy that I'm telling you that this is the person this is the only person. No, everything is free will. The universe will prevent not prevent. They will prevent love sometimes if they're not for you. But sometimes they will present someone to you. They kind of say, okay, do you want them? You know, like literally, do you want them? Do you want them? You want this one? You want that one? Like, it's free will, you know? So it's literally free will, man. And um, they're just trying to see, okay, do you want this person? But you have the freedom to choose. If you feel like they're not the one, don't commit. Take your time. Let someone else be, you know, presented to you. I don't know why I keep trying to say prevent. <laughs>
but someone that's being presented to you. So take your time. Don't feel like just because they like you or you like them that you guys have to commit. No, take your time. But love is coming. And man, get ready to celebrate. Get ready to go out on dates. Get ready to laugh, smile, feel safe because they coming. But yeah, I'm sorry if I have a lot of cuts in this video. I'm getting distracted. But um, if you guys want to book a session with me, go ahead and book a session. See you soon. But I love you guys so much. Don't forget, comment, subscribe. And I love you guys so much, man. We've been growing at a fast pace. But see you guys in the next video. Peace.